Yeah, uh, usually what happens is the smaller, the smaller communities have to go out to uh, bigger cities to uh, get their vehicles at police auctions or fire auctions. Um, once they uh, rotate, um, bigger cities like Enid, Oklahoma City will rotate their fleet out every five years. When they do that, they will open up an auction uh, to smaller communities, but when they do that, they take everything in that vehicle off. So um, cattle guards, light bars, uh, sirens, everything is stripped out of these vehicles because those aren't included in the vehicle itself, and they're going to they're going to keep those in case they ever need them. So when that happens, uh, these smaller communities have to go and purchase all this stuff again. So what they do is they come to us, we figure out the make, model of the vehicle, get all the components for them, and we install it and the vehicle, if I'm doing it by myself, probably takes me about two days. If we got two people, we can do it in one day. So, um, and it's very affordable for us to do it. Uh, the closest place uh, currently for anybody to do it besides us is Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, you know, if you're a small department on a budget, um, we're about the only place from here to the panhandle that can actually uh, get that done for you. And, you know, that just amazes me. Like I said, in this economy, uh, it's economically sound to go to global because um, when you were talking about the storm siren, the first thing that hit me, what you said, was you've already saved $1,000. If anybody could save $1,000 on anything, that alone is an investment. And it seems to me like uh, you guys' prices are so cheap, it's like uh, you're giving stuff away almost. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you uh, that just joined the show, uh, like I said, I'm with uh, computer technician uh, Jamie Phillips from Global Communications. Uh, please go visit their website at www.globalcomtech.net. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call them at 237-9900. Uh, and we've been talking uh, basically about everything that uh, Global Communications has to offer. Um, and I, get, I guess I've basically hit the nail on the head as far as uh, – uh, the computers and all that go. Um, Jamie, on a personal note, uh, uh, we're we're going to get that gaming computer uh, set up pretty soon, aren't we? <laughs> I I have video gaming guru Leotis Hall on the first show. He's coming out with a really cool game, and I need a gaming computer. So I know you're going to be the man to hook me up on that. Yeah. So, yeah. Unfortunately. Like mine. <laughs> oh well, if I get one just like yours. My lawn will get so far out of control it will be a jungle. Uh, I say this That's because, why you, have you know, it, no, 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 no. Because you see, <laughs> I'm I'm particular about that kind of thing. I got to have those golf course trips. And today, like an idiot, as soon as I got off work, I directly went and did the lawn rather than wait till six o'clock, seven o'clock, till the sun goes down. About gave myself a heart attack. About blessed, busted a blood vessel on my forehead. Uh, driving myself into the ground, and not only was it just, I mean, it, right now, it's uh, April. Uh, it's not even May yet. I'm not ready to cut the lawn until June, but right now I've had to cut for the past three weeks. So it's uh, Sean 3, Lawn 0, but it's not just a battle of the lawn. It's battle, battle of, of the lawn. lawn. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, in saying that, and um, I, I guess I've basically covered everything that we need to talk about in regards to global communications. If there's uh, any other kind of plug you'd like to throw out there, Jamie? Oh, yeah. Um, one other thing we also do that we haven't mentioned is that we actually do web design, too. And you can actually take a look at uh, billscookers.com, and you see some of the work we've done, and Soapweeds and cactus.com, which we're still actually working on, which um, the web page is there, but the content probably won't be finished for about another, I'm going to say about a week. All the background work is done, just getting the actual content on there um, will probably happen this weekend. And um, I, we charge about 350 to actually do a, a complete store website which is also something that in this town of uh, talking to a couple of businesses is that we found there's a lot of problems with people going around saying, well, well yeah, we'll build you a website for $5,000 and they're not getting it. They never hear from these people again. So, you know, we've been here, we're established. Um, I've got work we can show 
you know, our website for one. Um, we've designed ourselves, and we're still putting content on it. We still probably got another uh, 1,300 more products to put on it to get it complete, which has been a, uh, a very labor-intensive uh, uh, project to undertake, but it's well worth it. Um, Bill's Kickers, um, it's kind of a really fancy uh, just image gallery because they're not set up to uh, to be able to purchase. They're all custom-built to your specifications, and which is a really good company. Um, I'm really glad I got to know them. Uh, very nice people that run that place and uh, build uh, kickers uh, for you for anything you want. And so we and Cactus uh, is a rustic Western apprentice store here in town, locally owned and ran for about the past 13 years. So and they're trying to get out there and get 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 a more exposure and a big get a bigger client base and. That's what we're uh, helping them try to do. And help is kind of like a light word to use, folks, because I've actually um, got to take a look at what the old Bill's Cookers website looked like, and it looked like something from the 90s. Uh, Jamie went in and totally, I'm talking uh, 10.5, upgraded it, and the site is awesome. It's outstanding. And 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 for what you charge... Like I said, um, for, for what you charge to do uh, for fixed computers, for what you charge for your two-way radios, for what you charge for your storm sirens, your emergency vehicles, and then the website on top of that, how in the world do you guys stay in business with you guys keeping your prices so incredibly, and I'm talking insanely, no, let me take that back, a cornucopia of low, low, low discount prices. These people are going to be taking advantage of you, which is a good thing in this economy. We need something like that. So my well, props off to Global Communications for that. Well, the owner, Chrissy, I mean, she's uh, very adamant about you. You do what you say you're going to do. If you if you don't do it right, you fix it. I mean, you, you do everything you can to make that person happy. And once you do, they come back. So I never have to worry about, you know, is that phone going to ring? I know it's going to ring just because we, we, we treat everybody – the way they should be treated. I mean, we, we just flat get the jump, job done. So exactly. that's our, that's our guarantee. That you know, time and time again, it's what we do. You don't see that in business anymore. And uh, right. the, the owner is, like, way beyond outstanding. So you're definitely getting high-quality work at a very low, decent price. Uh, folks, right. I've just been talking uh, with Jamie Phillips of Global Communications. I'm going to throw this out one more time. They're located at 1421 North Van Buren Street. You can contact them at 580-237-9900 or visit their website at www.globalcomtech.net. Jamie, it was great having you on the show. Thanks for coming on and letting us know more about Global Communications. Hopefully uh, these great people out here that listen to the show uh, that are around the local Enid area and even the surrounding towns, a small town like Covington, uh, you guys have served us and you've served us well. I, I myself am a patron. You've fixed my computer. Uh, I've had nothing but good props about Global. So, guys, keep the keep the job up. You guys yeah. are doing a great job. Uh, yeah, Jamie, a thanks. Other, well, a couple other things I'd like to mention if we have time. Sure, we got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I, we, we spoke about emergency man- management, but everything we do applies to businesses and casinos. I mean, we do work for anybody, manufacturing, oil fields, um, we do communications for anybody. If you're in a manufacturer or operation, trucking, I mean, if you need it done, we'll do it. Um, we go all the way out to the Panhandle, all the way down to Gary, Oklahoma. Um, if there's not somebody that can get it done for you in your area, we will come to you. So that's just kind of like that's how we do it. I mean, we've been into Kansas or almost on the other side of Ponca City. So we go all over the place. And Folks, whatever you need done, we'll get it done. How many businesses out there, ladies and gentlemen, do you hear will actually do that? In this day and age, in this economy, how many businesses will, are willing to go out on a limb like that? That's what I dig about global communications, which is one of the main reasons why uh, you're first and foremost up front on my show uh, promoting uh, this great, great business of yours. And uh, right. guys, yeah. keep up the yeah. great work. Well, we also I need to mention as a we are a full warranty and repair center. So, if anything we sell you or you've bought somewhere else, 
if it's broke, we can fix it as long as its parts are available. So there's not really much, not a whole lot we can't fix unless somebody put a screw through it. <laughs> which has and even happened. then, I'm sure you find a way to fix it. <laughs> yeah, which has happened. Somebody screwed a battery on a two-way radio to they broke their clips off and screwed a put a screw through it to hold it on and wonder why it didn't work. So yeah, we've we've had some 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 plenty ones come through run over by forklifts. I mean, after a while, I mean, sometimes they're unrepairable, but for the most part, we can always get it fixed. So, you know, we got the man working on them who's built himself a remote control lawnmower. <laughs> and maybe that man can help me with my... Metal. Yeah, that's what you need. You can sit inside on your gaming computer and mow your lawn. Oh, if only. But, you know, I know somewhere the wifey's listening, probably shaking her head, thinking, you know, shut up and finish your BLT already. So <laughs> in saying that, Jamie, once again, thank you so much for taking time out to come on the show and promote global communications. Folks, outstanding business, Global is. Uh, if if you have any of these needs that we talked about, please, I beg and implore you, go visit these wonderful, wonderful, professional people. They know what they're doing. Uh, Jamie, it was great having you on the show. I'd like to have you back sometime. So hopefully we'll see you in the future, sir. Yes, yes, hopefully hopefully I'll be back. Okay, well, Jamie, th- uh, thank you so much for being on uh, on your on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, uh, give it up for Jamie. Phil. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm fixing to put this puppy to bed because we had a great, great show. No hang-ups, uh, at least. Uh, not yet. The show's not quite over. Uh, but, you know, I've said some words of wisdom uh, by great, great people. But I'm going to actually quote a friend of mine, uh, Matt Cheney, uh, who said, uh, to heck with self- self-doubt and its gnawing little badger teeth. Uh, now, the gentleman, <laughs> he... Uh, He's he's part of Chainsaw, um, which is an outstanding um, video game background soundtrack designer. I I wish I could talk more about this uh, guy, but in saying that, it uh, brings up what's going to go on next weekend or next Wednesday here on your own on Blog Talk Radio. Next week, I'm going to have director, uh, producer, um, stuntman. <laughs> Uh, artist, musician. This guy's beyond a triple threat. Jeremy Scott will be on the show next week. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll have to thank Jamie Phillips for being on the show once again, promoting global communications. Uh, Next week we'll have Jeremy Scott uh, promoting uh, the Knights of Cherokee County, part two, I believe it is. And we'll have that and so much more to talk about next week. Uh, Folks, for right now, class is hereby... Here's me.